Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Hab ich die noch? Hab ich die noch? Hab ich die noch? Oh, noch. Dang it! Greetings, sapient beings, and welcome to another video. So, I was asked about my opinion on Japanese backwards or reverse or whatever you want to call it, I don't know, man. So, before I'm gonna go into my actual feeling about uh, Japanese reverse, I need to talk about generally languages in reverse so i'm going to talk about all the languages that i know which is english german japanese as well as latin but let's not go into latin because hi wie heißt du gefahr g punkt mac gefahr awesome gefahr ist ihnen nicht brutal genug nehmen sie awesome und hängen sie zieht an ihren nachnamen aber warum denn zieht ist lateinisch für tödlich Fungizid, Pestizid, Tilo Sarazid. Aber, aber Latein ist eine tote Sprache. Double kill. So, if I had to rate the languages by difficulty in the reverse form, then I would say actually English first, then German, then Japanese. There's a simple reason for that, and the simple reason is palindromes. What the hell is a palindrome? What the heck am I even talking? How can I, how can I know these words? That's weird. So a palindrome is basically nothing complicated. It's just like if the word is written um, in one way and you reverse it and it's still written the same, that's a palindrome, basically. So I'm going to use the word radar for that. From the English language. So if you want to say radar backwards, then you wouldn't say radar. I mean, technically it's written back, uh, the same backwards, but it's not, uh, if you reverse it in a program, it's not the same. Instead of radar, it becomes radar or something like that. But in the German language, if you do it, you have radar and backwards it's radar. So this is the reason why it gets easier in certain languages, because English has a lot of exceptions uh, when it comes to pronunciation, while German has less exceptions. And Japanese does even have less than that. So that's why I um, basically rank it that way, from English the hardest. And from that point on, I would also say kudos to people who actually talk backwards in English. So specifically, uh, kudos to Weird L. And why? Basically, I'm gonna show you this clip. What a nerd, huh? <laughs> I did a shot that I really haven't seen done before. Uh, I learned a portion of the song backwards, and we filmed it backwards. We're all crazy men and nights, living in an Irish paradise. So I had to learn the song, I had to go, See out a rape shimon and a nibble steeib take me the barb doostub. Which if you reverse it you hear actual lyrics. So I hope you enjoyed that. I don't know if I'm gonna get a copy strike copy strike from that, but whatever. Doesn't matter too much. So anyways, uh, I don't earn anything, so who cares?
Anyways, I have another nice clip for you that could be interesting. It also has reverse stuff um, from Half-Life 2. So check that out. So anyways, that's enough of that. Um, yeah, so I've talked a lot of uh, backwards as a child in middle school just because I found it very interesting. That's why I still can say my name backwards, which is Pascal becomes Lost Cup. Which sounds weird, but whatever. Just, yeah. I also had this idea that if you talk, like if you exhale, like you store air in your um, lungs, and then you exhale while you're talking. So I had the idea, what if you actually like need to inhale to talk backwards? Like if instead of saying, um, I don't know. Yeah, instead of saying, I don't know, you would say backwards, oh, not, and, and so on. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> I guess. But yeah, you can try it out if you want, but trust me, spoiler, it doesn't work that way unfortunately would be cool if it would so anyways um it actually comes in handy to have this practice with talking backwards cause I actually had a job interview where I was asked to spell my name backwards um and I also was asked to write my name backwards with my left hand not no wait it wasn't backwards it was mirrored you had to write it mirrored with your left hand so I'm right-handed, by the way. I was asked whether or not I'm right-handed or left-handed for that exercise. And dang, that was... It was tough and interesting. I wouldn't expect that to be, like, part of a job interview or something. So that was really weird and interesting. So yeah, concludes that. Anyways, um, let's get to the actual part, right? The Japanese backwards and my feelings about that. So yeah, I already ranked Japanese as the easiest of the three simply because it is a sound based and a syllable based syllable sound based based sound based syllable based based base. Whatever. You get what I mean. So there are syllables that are based on sounds in the Japanese language and these construct the words. So this is something that's really interesting because there's like hardly any exceptions. The only exceptions are like um, actually skipping a few letters or something like that. So a few sounds like instead of saying S, you say Z. So then that basically makes like instead of Desu, you say Des. And this is like the only hard thing if you like want to reverse it. Because instead of saying Z, you say Z. If you say this, like what, if it wasn't clear. I don't know, man. <laughs> so, and the second thing that I find particularly in Japanese very interesting, because it is a sound-based um, language, all these syllables can be found in other languages as well, which actually brings a lot of hilarious misheard lyrics and misheard Japanese and all that kind of stuff. And I can imagine that actually applying for backwards as well, which is like... Um, in my one video where people heard like horse and stuff, which is like really interesting, but it makes sense if you think about it. So yeah, and overall I would say that this probably what makes Japanese the most interesting because of these misheard stuff. But aside from that, I don't really feel anything particular about uh, Japanese backwards in comparison to other languages of backwards. Except that there are more misheard stuff that makes more sense or something like that, I don't know. So, yeah, that's how I feel about all the whole topic. And, yeah, I could also tell a bit, little bit about backstory from myself and all my experiences with backwards language or reverse language. Is it called backwards or reverse? Is that a difference or does it matter? I don't know, man. Anyways, we're going to out for today.
Hope you enjoyed the video.